the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Well, here it goes. Is that blinding? I was just trying to blind you. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger, and we are here at the Magic Hat Artifactory in South Burlington for Soundproof, a multimedia exhibit involving the photographs of Matthew Thorson. It's called Soundproof. This whole exhibit and Matt Thorson is like a living time capsule of Burlington of the 90s. I know a lot of the people that are in the images and a lot of the places that they, they were taken. People in these pictures I haven't even seen since uh, Toast closed back in 98. It's memory lane, yeah. We packaged it up in sort of a dream way. This couldn't represent Matt any better. Jim Lockridge, my old friend, he does the Big Heavy World and the Radiator. And he got me a show to show all the pictures that I've given him over the years. The history is on the wall and it looks beautiful and people can understand it and respect it. Soundproof exhibit that's on display at the Auto Factory all month. All the money's going to Big Heavy World, and it's just great to get Matt's photography out there. Luckily, we have people like Magic Hat who really sees how cool this time period was and wanted to support this exhibit, which is going to be traveling around the whole state for about a year. Wonderful to see photos of Chin Ho, Construction Joe, and so the turn and Wide Whale and Troy. Oh, he was a drummer for Dysfunction. The band's sick, and he played with just about everybody. Really iconic Burlington musicians. You look at pictures like of, of Nectar and Big Joe Burrell, Brett Hughes uh, in all sorts of different bands, and Viper House, and... Strange folks, on and so forth. Was, was it Richard Halp, the clarinet man? Because yeah. like, that picture is like so iconic of a particular time in Burlington. I mean, come on, the pants, the fags? We don't have to tell too many people about, you know, Eugene Hutz. I mean, he's world renowned. I make violin boats. And so I'm the only Kurt guy on the wall that's not an actual musician. Really touching one of Rachel Bissick's. You got her and it's there forever. Like she'll live forever because of that. Back in the 90s. Back in that crazy, misty time. You know, the local scene was just huge back then. The 90s were a pretty special time in Burlington. The music scene in the 90s was Club Toast, was Club Metronome. I think it was like lightning in a bottle, right place, right time. We brought in bands from all over the world. I was doing anywhere from five to 12 bands a week. A lot of local bands thrived when we were open. Not only were there hyper original bands of all genres, but there were bands of bands. Kind of a super group uh, called Eight Fluorescent Tubes played. A couple guys from Fish, a couple guys from The Pants. There was music you couldn't put a name on. It was that original, and there was lots of it. Yes, tell me about me. Tell you about you. Well, well Matt, you know, was sort of the unofficial historian. He always had a camera in hand. Matt would be there, like, clicking away, clicking away. and He's also helped to tell the story of what it was like to be around in the 90s here. When I started Big Heavy World, I was in a in a house that had a band in it, and Matt Thorson. Yeah, we used to be roommates. I've always lived with bands, so I usually got the cheap room next to the band room, because my only interest was having a small dark area for a dark room. In the and Matt was right in the middle of that scene. A lot of bands needed photos, and he never really charged them much. Having Matt around to actually document a lot of what was going on was a wonderful thing, otherwise it would just be in our memories and it wouldn't be much that we could share. It added legitimacy for the bands too, having a real polished presentation. Polished image maker. Yeah, polished image maker. In a nutshell. How many years have you been taking photos for seven days? Yeah, since the beginning, since I started, yeah, like 
second, third month in, I was regular. He's an artist and a professional photographer. I love Matt's work. It's very imaginative. He clearly tries to think out of the box. And Matt's the kind of guy who will go out and shoot anything. He has no fear. He has a gift of taking candid photographs that somehow turn out magically amazing. I never would have posed like that for anybody else, but he got me to pose this crazy pose. He gets things from people that nobody else will do. For a minute I was like, I felt like a superstar. You know? He captures the essence. And I'm not just saying that because I'm married to him. You want me to take your picture there? See? Whoa! You? So we were at Magica Artifactory, but now we're at Matt Thorson's home studio. I don't know, it might go off. Yeah! Yeah, things have been out here for seven, ten years. I never advertised or I was, wasn't in the phone book. And when I sell things, I usually like, oh, no, it's all right. Or 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, hey, let me show you some pictures. Oh, I'd love to see some pictures. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. What has happened? Oh, oh no. Shoot, I'm going to have to call oh. Creative Habitat. Here's my backup, one of my backups. So, do you always have a camera on you? As a oh general? yeah, I usually have a bunch. And this is my best friend ever. I haven't held this camera for a while. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. If I lose a negative gets damaged, or a file gets deleted, or something like that, it's it hurts so much and I can't forget it. Strong feelings for an inanimate object. When a picture's really good, I see it. It's very valuable to me when it means so much to me. So... So you can continue to see Matt Thorson's show all over the state of Vermont to find out details as to where it's going to be next. Go to Big Heavy World's website, and we'll get stuck around with you again real soon. So Bunny is running for mayor? Ah, uh, yeah, second time. Her campaign is underway. Ooh, that, okay. Do you see this? Check this out. Can you <gasps> see that? <laughs> when you spin, it makes the yeah. background kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh. I almost real barf while fake barf. <laughs> <laughs>